Hi friends, in today's video, I'll be talking about mental model in UX and why it's important for a UX designer to know about it. Designers can gain an understanding of how people interact with a product by referring mental models. Mental models are one of the most valuable concepts in human computer interaction. So let's see what is mental model. Our prior knowledge and behaviors are known as mental models. A mental model represents a person's thought process of how something works. Basically, prior knowledge and experiences influence a person's reaction to what they see, what they hear, and what they feel. They help shape actions and behavior that influences people to pay attention to complicated situations and how they define, approach, and solve problems. In UX design, mental models can help designers to understand and analyze problems in their designs through user testing. If many people make similar mistakes, one reason could be designers misunderstanding or misinterpretation of a mental model. So before we see common mental model errors or confusion that a user has, let's quickly understand the difference between conceptual model and mental model. So conceptual model is derived by the designer, what he wants the user to see. Whereas the mental model is how the user perceives the design or UI designed by the designer. So let's see some quick examples of a typical mental model of a user. One of the mental model that user has is by clicking the back arrow in the browser, it will redirect to their previous step. Whereas in some sites, back arrow is not abled it's mostly disabled or if you click on back arrow in browser it will redirect to you the main landing page or dashboard second example of the mental model that user has the user clicks on the logo of your website it will redirect to the home page or the main page these kind of mental model that user has so try to include the similar interactions in your design because that is what user is expecting in your design so let's see how mental models can be applied to UX. As a designers, our job is to ensure that it, our design meets both users needs and fit their mental model and expectations. So we can refer few UX best practices to help make the mental model as a success. So first one is Jacob's law. So Jacob's law states that user spends most of their time on the other sides so they expect your site to work in the same way as other sites they have already visited. In order to do this, designers should design with patterns users are accustomed to using. Second is by doing card sorting. Card sorting exercises can be a very useful technique in determining how your users categorize the information that will appear in your design. Third, limit the cognitive load of the user. Try to keep as simple as possible. Fourth, create real world like objects to connect with emotions of the user. So to summarize, mental models are what the users believes about how the UX works. Mental models are constructed in user's brain and are based on what they know from past interactions with other products, sites or mobile applications. Thanks for watching the video and please subscribe to my channel and press the like button and if you have any comments, please share your comments below.